I'm not gonna lie. This is gonna taste like shit. <laughs> but here you are, anyway, listening to my cooking. Is this is this for Lizzy? You're trying to scare me. I'm not gonna fall for it. This close to spazzing. What's good, YouTube? <laughs> What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Life of D Breezy, and we're back with another video. That's flying everywhere. Like I said, we're back with another video. I'm trying to get back into it, man. Life has been life. life, 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 life. Regardless, we're playing Fears of Fathom Woodbury Getaway. And if you don't know what Fierce Fathom is, then you clearly you just haven't been watching my videos. But I'm in charge of the game right now. But if you don't know what it is, and Fierce Fathom is an episodic psychological horror game where each episode unveils a short story narrated by the ones who survived. So this is a true story. So this is a true story. How do I feel about that? We're not gonna get into it. But what we are gonna get into is this gameplay. Woodbury Getaway. Now, thankfully, I haven't seen anybody play this, so draw a run through. Need a coffee to get to get done with the day. See what's on the computer first. Rainbow sheets. Hold on, that's how much I'm sending. Okay. Type invaded, reload it. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah, locked in. Hold on. Uh. Yeah. Accuracy 96. Hold on, let me get right. Let me get right. Yeah. Get at me. Reverse. Uh. Uh, uh. Wow, okay. What's what's up with all these words, bro? Oh, it's a it's a uh. Okay, yeah, 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 we locked in. Uh done boy? Uh Okay. How long? Where were these games when I was a kid? Locked in. Make four. Body. Twenty. It does. In. Uh, in uh, instrument bank? What? I'm gonna die. Breaker winner. Uh, numeral. Simple or loud single. Oh, I'm gonna die. They in the car? Oh, oh, I bow, I barely did it. I like that. All right, you know, what? let's let's get let's get to the actual game. So I'm in the office. Oh, it's dark. Where am I going? Oh, it's dark. Y'all know how much I hate just dark places. I'm saying that. You know, I, I shouldn't be worried. Y'all got me if somebody, like, if y'all see somebody walk in. Appreciate you. I'm a little hungry, though. Coffee. Now... I'm not a coffee drinker. I need to prepare a cup of coffee. Okay. Uh, 
Am I dumb? Do I not know how to prepare coffee? Damn. You don't got a clue in the fucking world. <laughs> Good luck. I did it in Detroit. I don't know. Need a water, water, of course. I knew that. To me, coffee is disgusting. Ice latte, caramel macchiato, frappuccino, whatever you want to drink, eat. You don't eat coffee, Derek. What the lid is that, man? Right here. Zuko. I hate how dark it is, bro. Who's the, who is that typing away? Hey, dog. What do you want to see it? I'm trying to get this done. I'm trying to check on you, fam. Can't these clients ever... Uh, can't these clients ever make up their minds? I know, bro. What keeps you here so late again? I'm finalizing my report. Hey, you... I didn't even catch your name, but... but that's what I'm going to call you, but... I should... Finish my coffee before I go in the restroom, right? How much coffee is in here? You want to set you down right there? Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm. Am I not a man? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to assume. I, I, I please. Mm. Not very clean, is it? Let me check all the stalls. Why is there a drink in the restroom? Don't judge me. Alright, we're gonna go to the last one. Now hopefully nobody walks in on me. If I open this stall door and you're here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we starting off early, I see, huh? Composer. Oh, I already got the chills, I already got the chills. Whoa, ma'am. Sorry, didn't see, didn't know anyone was in here. You did give me a heart attack. I'm so sorry. Should have knocked before I came in. There isn't usually anyone in here this late. Yes, you should have knocked. It's very. <sighs> hey, you lucky I don't get my YNs on you, man. Again, I'm sorry. I usually do knock, but I'm a little bit fle fle fle. <laughs> I'm a little bit frustrated tonight. Must have slipped my mind. What has you frustrated? Someone keeps throwing coffee cups on. Out of pocket for that shit. <laughs> That's me. My bad. My bad. Someone raised you in a barn. Oh, whoa. There's trash cans all over the office. Act like an adult and use them. My. F hey, dog. Well, I need to get back to it. Don't want to be here all night picking up coffee cups. Okay. Have a good night, bro. What's good, y'all? So at this point in the video, in my editing process, I guess, uh, I noticed that my do rag has been starting to recede. Uh, pay that no mind.
I'll fix that later on in the video, um, eventually. All right, back to the video. I'll do it again. Where, where that cup at that I throw away? Oh, I don't like you already. What's, what's your name, son? I mean, a lot of late night workers, but you're one of the most de dedicated ones here. Nah, my boy's still here. Yeah, he's still doing them. And it's right here. He didn't even freaking pick it up. Where's the trash can? Whew. Man, oh man. There we go. So, okay, I see what type of... I see what type of timing we on. Hey, shout out to the developers, man. I really love these type of games. I mean, what time is it? I'm mean, gonna call? Hey, Orbit Mike. Hey, Mike. I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is everything all right? Oh, yeah, snap. my phone was kind of tripping. starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> Uh, no, we'd even cut out on a client earlier. I'm just earlier. kidding. <laughs> okay, um, Mike. Okay, Mike. Uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. Work has had, had me Damn, overwhelmed. Mark, that sounds rough. It Good is. Thing I called to cheer you up. You're not helping. Um, about our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. I was gonna go after work. No worries, Harper. I don't wanna stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Thank you, Mike. Don't. What's that sound? What is that? I think that's a chair. Hey. I'm, I'm, I'm paranoid. I'm paranoid. I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I I'm could scared. pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. Mike. No, save on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. Um, uh, sure. Great. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. Thank you. Oh, uh, wait, one more thing. Oh my god, bro. When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under a hundred dollars a night. You pay it? I'm not gonna Nora do that. and I were talking and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things haven't been going very well for her. It'll be okay. just like the old I college you. days. You always had a knack for finding the best spots. Right, yeah, leave right, me alone, please. Sorry for yapping. I should I'm keep reading. I'm so excited, sorry. I guess. Okay. All yeah. right. Talk to you. Bye. You heard that? All these towns, bro. Gotta check your surroundings, man. You can't ever be safe. I would never, ever, ever work in an office like this and stay late. Y'all don't hear that? I'm going. I need to get away, bro. Miami. Or Woodbury. Woodbury, Wood, Woodbury. That looks nice. Looks a little bit run down. Looks nice. Can I, I think I, you know what? I'll help you out, I'll help you out. It was over our budget. It's a setup. Maybe he looked. Look at the pictures. We can't, okay. That's pretty decent, you know what I'm saying? It's a little blurry. Three guests, two beds, two baths. 3.1, so let's talk about these reviews. Only two reviews, too. Let's look at another one. Oh, I can't. Now I heard somebody open the door again. Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds of, if not thousands of stories sent daily. So I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. 
I'm sorry if some of it's written weird, but I was rushed. When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big, big consulting firm in my city. Life at the firm was a constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth, which didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone a social life. The job paid well, sure, but at the expense of my mental peace. Mm. I'm Sydney Harper, and this story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend getaway at the rural Vermont. We sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work, and my other friend, Nora, was quick to jump on board as well. The plan was simple. We rent a small cabin, close our shift early on Friday, leave, and be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up. Mike, he sound cool. He was a little awkward, bro. He a little weird. Two days later. Ooh, ooh. So I guess we all know. Mike, why are you looking at me like that? Mike. Oh, you're not Mike. I wanna pick up, I guess not. Afternoon, quite chilly today, huh? I've seen you around, but haven't introduced myself. Oh, haven't had a chance to introduce myself. I'm Gail. I'm Sydney, nice to meet you. You're on the 10th floor, right? I'm on the 8th. How do you know? I've seen you a few times, getting off the 10th floor when I'm home late from work. What do you do for work? You're a software engineer, what about you? I work at a consulting firm downtown. Oh, I see. Anyways, hope you have a great rest of your day. I need to get some groceries before the snow starts. You too, man. Ah! No! Okay. What am I whipping today? Really not me. Hey, Mike. All right, you didn't have to get out the car for me, fam. What's up, bud? I don't want to hug you. Look distorted. See how you hug people? How do I hug people? Why don't you hug me like you miss me? Because I don't. Let's test hug and see if you smell first. Chuckle, fair enough. But for the record, I shower just for the occasion. Nothing is too good for Sydney Harper. I'll just give you a long hug. I wasn't. You look good. Thanks for picking me up. Friend zoning Mike here, guys. Let's get it. I don't have it any other way. It'll be nice to have company on the way. This old truck brings back so many memories, right? This bad boy has been through a lot. You can just throw your stuff in the back and we'll get on our way. Awesome. Freaking weirdo, Mike. Kobe! All right then, Hart. Are you ready to hit the road? Where is Nora? Should meet us there. A route through the city would have been a detour for her anyways. All right then, Hart. You know, it would have been better if we all rolled together. But I mean, hey, hey that's Nora, guys. I'm not tripping on it. I'm, I caught a ride. Sydney Harper Passenger Princess. Ha <laughs> ha! No. My bad. 4.26 p.m. It was actually a gift from my coworker, Ricky. Said he found it at a garbage sale, garage sale. Yeah, like, I can't read. And it reminded him of me somehow. I can see a little bit of resemblance. Yeah. It's the cowboy spirit, I guess. You know, nighttime drives just be so peaceful, you know? Sometimes. Not if you're at the wrong place, wrong time. Our business is weird. We used to dream about escaping from our college, and now here we are. Trying to escape from the life we wanted to live. Couldn't wait to get out to the real world. Funny how that works. Change is just hard. Like trying to adjust to the new job. Change is hard. We're working on this project that we that uses machines learning to predict market trends is pretty cutting edge stuff. So AI. Sounds like you're sharpening the future. Starting sharpening. You stupid.
Not quite Tony Stark yet, but I'll take it. You know, I never understood what do consultants even do? Console, I don't know. It's, it sounds like important work. You're very boring, Mike. Damn! Um, it's nearly 5 p.m. Did you see that school bus? Was back there by the old house. Maybe it's a project. You know, some of the idea of turning into a tiny home, wheels, something. I've read people do that on the internet. I've seen actually seen that as well. Um, nearly five. We haven't received confirmation. Thanks for me. I just want to check in, make sure everything is okay. The roads near Woodbury can be a little dangerous if you're not from the area. Please let me know when you arrive. Thanks, Rick. We're on our way and should be there around 6 p.m. Snow slowed us down quite a bit. Thanks for checking in. Ooh. You know, I read on the internet that a Native American lore, seeing a deer cross your path is like getting a message from the universe. Can we can we speak more on that? And can I look back and see if that school bus is following us? I already on. Oh, I can't. Can't do anything. Let me just enjoy the drive. Please stop talking to me. How far is it now? Should be about an hour and a half from here. You know, driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through the intergalactic space. What do you mean? Look at the way the snowflakes swirl around the headlights. It's like stars and galaxies rushing past us. Mm. Yeah, if we didn't have all these light poles and whatnot, it's kind of beautiful. No, Mike, I feel like I can rock with you, bro. I don't know about y'all, but I'm a stargazer. Sometimes I just look up at the stars. It's like I'm at peace. 5 14 p.m. It's pretty dark for like four something, actually. Guess we're here. Yo, heart, check that out. Check what out. Moe's Pizza. I, I'm actually kind of hungry. You know, heart, I gotta tell you, these new GPS systems are something else. This pizza is exactly where it appeared on my GPS. How old are we? Where, where, what time are we in? I'm so hungry, I think I can eat a whole pizza myself. Me too. All right, then the heart. Operation Pizza Pit Stop is a go. Preparation to land. What if I just ran away right now? Nah, I'm pretty hungry, let's go. You open the door for me? No. Thank you, I guess. You're, you're really supposed to, you know, I, you know what, thank you. Hey, you. Boy, I thought you was talking to me. You have a dog? No. Well, <clears throat> this just in. Reports of a strong snowstorm coming towards Woodbury tonight. Oh, no. Residents are recommended to stay indoors and keep warm during this. Hey, time. stop smacking in my freaking ear. Report. How's the weather out there, Phil? Oh, it's so cold out here. I, I can't feel my hands. Like, the studio's not really frosty. So, so this piece like it's fucking everybody. Evening, folks. It's like the cold's got everyone craving pizza tonight. You find folks know what you want to eat? We get three slices each. I go with pepperoni, cheese, and veggie. And for you, miss, you know, let's try the most special. What's your second slice? Pepperoni and pepperoni. Any drink for you folks? I should cover us. Just pizza today. Thanks. All right then. TikTok slice is coming right up. Y'all be twenty-two fifty. As a man, Mike. Deep. All right, cash that means 2250 right now. Your number is 27. Just grab a seat. We'll call you when your pizza is ready. I'm talking up. Who, why are you talking to everybody? How you doing, my friend? I'm pretty hungry. 
Pizza does smell awfully good. Are you here for the pizza? I was looking for a little help. Maybe I can help you. Maybe you can. But you're going to get some pizza first, eh? Maybe we'll catch up later. All right. You know, very nice. We offer thousands of cabins readily available and accessible with the click of a button. Enjoy amazing views and undisturbed relaxation Whoa. in our refurbished cabins. Now, not so only this guy. are these hey, cabins hey. cheap, but they're also safe, with each cabin having a designated <clears throat> caretaker to ensure that your stay is top notch. D did y'all see that? We have that many was, options to choose from, from last video. including pet friendly, alcohol friendly, family sized, underground, and underground. many more. So if you need a vacation and cabins. want it cheap, visit rentacabin.com and enjoy the stay of a lifetime. Y'all tearing that pizza up, bro. You, you, you can beat me, but you can never beat the taste of UFO burgers. Put an end to meals from cheap food stalls. What are you doing, son? I guess you're the manager. It's me. Yeah. Yeah. The cheese. This is cheese. Uh, I'm fine. I don't even like this cheese piece anyways. So, come here often. <laughs> <laughs> it smells so good in here. Yeah, I bring my pizza, bro. I'm friends three of a. Oh, you guys are going to hate me. I swear I'll get on the road as soon as I can, but something last minute popped up. I'm not going to bore you with all of the details. The long and short of it is one of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights on. I hate to leave so late, but I've got to keep them happy. I'll have this logo done before you know it and be on my way. Well, I'm so sorry, guys. Nora. <laughs> Please be careful. I hate that you leave me so late. Drive slow and don't worry. Make sure I stays up to let you in. You stay up, boy. <clears throat> Gotta watch my tone around this mug. This is Nora's voice message in the group. Yes. I like should be late. That's a bummer. Because I have to start the phone without her. What can we get into, fam? I act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Whoa, man. Whoa, man. Let's slow your roll there, Mike. The folks are right here. Mike, why am I getting up? Oh, never mind. Can I get in the car? Oh, you folks have said thank you. Uh, do you have um, crushed red pepper and um, grated parmesan cheese? A little bit of ranch, too. No. Bro, this is making me so hungry. Oh, dang, this piece of slaps. I can't believe Nori's missing out on this bomb pizza. All right. Now let me finish my pizza. I like to eat. I don't like to talk. Eat the crust. Oh, I hate, 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 hate. That's <laughs> chewing sounds in here. Dang, Harper. Dang, Harper, you actually eat the crust? Kind of wasteful not to, don't you think? I guess, but you wouldn't really eat the peel of an orange, would you? That's not the same. Mike, you are weird, bruh. Weird, buddy. You're weird. Dang, bro. I'm, hey, hey, my my brothers just got pizza last night. Uh, hey there, my friends. Hello. So y'all pull up driving a nice old truck. Are oh, you just watching the pulls up and taking notes? <laughs> Not all, my friend. Just notice you seem be heading towards the same direction I was. I mind if I drive with you? I can't say where's your car. Clearly, he doesn't have a car. Sydney. Well, where are you headed? Just heading where the road takes me. I'm a bit of an adventurer, just hiking the trails and seeing country. What are you saying? Gonna give this free spirit a ride down that road, snowy road?
Sure, why not? Are you sure about that? Second. I don't think we need to discuss this. Feel free to jump in. Uh, I'm not sure if we have any extra space for another passenger. Oh yeah. Surely you can find just a little bit of room for me. I can ride in the middle. Man, I'll ride. I'll ride in the bed. We'll give you a ride, but there isn't any space. Whoa! What's, whoa! 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 You gotta be playing. No space. I know there's a middle seat. You scared me or something? You ain't too kind, are you? Unkind people meet unkindness themselves. You best be careful out there. Are you threatening us? No, no, no. You got me all wrong, sorry. I'm just cold and tired as all. Yeah, you can keep keep walking, but... We're gonna see him later, watch. Are you serious? How are you gonna let a stranger ride with us in the middle of nowhere? I was trying to help. Well, sometimes helping can put you in a bad situation. All right, dad. Everything is rude. Just, oh. Literally hearing them eat is like making my stomach rumble. Uh, Which was perfect fuel for the last leg of our trip. Uh, that did not fit in there, bro. Holy, that was good. <laughs> yes. Oh. Look at his face, bro. Look at <laughs> Bro, he looked like I don't know what he looked like. But I'll put something up there. <laughs> I'm afraid of what kind of break you're gonna give me. You'll be a, you'll be afraid if you don't give me the key. Hey! Hey yo, what the fuck? Wait, Mike, tell him back up! Give me the key so we can go. Fine, but there's one condition. What is it? I get fresh towards the bedrooms. When or if we get there. Alright, whatever. Hey, hey boy. Listen to me. Don't leave me. You look a little weird. Make sure we're not being followed. Hey, Mike, you got an ox in here? Oh, uh, I can't drive. Oh, so we went far. We went far at all. Good evening, Vermont. This is your host on WKWB, your hometown station, bringing you the best tunes to warm your hearts on this trip. As we embrace the first uh, la -da 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 -da. song to set the mood. So here's a track that'll make you feel right at home. Coming up next, Be Sincere. Stay tuned. Look called myself. No! Oh. Bro! Oh. I guess what I love most about it is that this is one thing I don't want to talk about. Who's on the right? Or catching me up on the mic, spitting what I like. I'm going to sit here. Or down to him. No, no, you're not driving. I want to go over there every day, I guess. Where am I going? Are you going to GPS something?
That's not good. Oh! Oh, you know what, Mike? You got it, fam. I don't know where we're going. I think... I think the address was 241. Oh, I guess I'm still driving. Is that it? Check my no, phone, okay. get a buzz and a sniff in the spiral. What's the point of trying to hit you if you ain't around? I'm looking for way, a little right? time to waste. I really need to contemplate my move forward. So I lose oh. hope and sit in mirror and try to piece myself Bro, together. I'm losing that, 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 my heart. I'm losing my Five minutes later. Mike, if you don't shut up. One hour later. Okay, Mike, you tell me where 241 Woodbury, Woodbury, ah! But my life in the heart, so I focus when I type. Trying to get a good song, but can't get it if I try. And so this I sit up in my room, right, reflecting on my I'm life. I'm just gonna keep driving there. Where I'm going. Mike. Mike. The quaint little house in the quiet neighborhood. Mike, we should check the basement. We should check our surroundings first. A little beat up, a lot of beat up. Oh, five one seven six. so nice in here right but i really need to hit the john take your time mike well, i'm gone can you put these groceries away there should be enough space in the fridge sure this is cozy and well furnished hmm. can, I, can i close that i got first dibs on the room i don't trust stuff like this like why is there random bear could I have cameras in there Always be, always check like your Airbnbs. Okay. Is it? Oh. Oh. Eggs. Okay, we got lettuce. Hold on, we chefing it up in here. Best milk. Why we get two things of milk? Frozen yogurt. Okay. I guess onions. I don't know what that is. Bell peppers. All right. That's what we really cooking. I don't know what that is either. Mike, go choose your room so I can choose mine. Sorry about that, Harp. You okay? Long driving out of that pizza really did a number on me. Well, go to the by the way. Thanks for handling that, Harp. Anyway, this place looks crazy nice. It's got that rustic charm you just don't see anymore. Try to get nice to get away from the city for a bit, for sure. Hey, I really need to pee. I'll be back. Let me go ahead. I started unpacking our bags. Thanks. You don't gotta unpack my bag, bro. You, you good. I really don't like how that's open. Why is this light on? Mm -mm, nope. Make sure that stays locked. Wire going. 
Some reflections. For a long time the pizza, I really done not know I'm like, like here blowing up the bathroom. Window, huge window at that. Hey, we've checked in. Mike, you are weird, dude. You're weird. Feeling better after the drive. I'm good. Want to check out the house? Sounds good to me. Let's see what this place has to offer. After you. So here we have the living room. Nice fire going. TV. Living room is bigger than my apartment. Let's turn it off. I hate the crouch thing, bro. Make sure nobody's still in our truck. Back office. We gotta, Mike, please. Personal space, buddy. Got some games. That's all I'm doing with you, Mike. Just place tower stack. Nice little space, you know what I'm saying? Pretty big cabin. I, I don't trust this bear. All right, let's go upstairs, man. How many closets? I'm this close to spazzing. You scared me. Oopsie daisy, I didn't mean to. Why are you here? Go to my home, sweet home. What a lovely young couple. No, 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 we're not a couple. We're just friends. Oopsie daisy, silly me. We didn't expect anybody to be here. Oh, um. I was out looking for my cat earlier and I remember the TV had been on a fritz here. So I stopped by and tried to get it working again. Since the last few folks left a bad word for it. You know, they treat your guests like family. My family doesn't go without TV. Hello, y'all. That was weird. Back to it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'll look at Mike too. Speaking of that, can you back up? Um, now that the folks are here, let me show you around this home sweet home. Right now, I'd be a bad owner if I didn't give the grand tour. Post was a middle-aged man with a nervous energy. Are you coming, miss? I mean, how did you, how did you, why were you hiding? I don't trust, I don't trust, bro. Take the closet. See, see, we're not doing it again. We're not doing this again.
Is that a ghost orb? Look at him. Look. Look at his face. I I, I know what a bathroom looks like. Here's your shower. Um that thing will make you feel like you're bathing under a waterfall in the Amazon jungle. But this thing doesn't work, unfortunately. I'll tell you where I'll get it fixed for you real soon. Let me show you the other room. Look, Harp. Remember, that's a nice view. I think that's nice, mister. Wait till I show you the deck. Follow me now, please. I gotta, I gotta look around, bro. I don't trust dude at all. Make sure there's no cameras or nothing. Bro! I guess I'm the only one being freaking... Cautious around here, because I don't trust dude. I don't trust him. Holy smokes! This is incredible! Gotta be cold, yeah. That to folks like it. It's one of my favorite spots. The view of the creek is beautiful. It's a great spot for fishing too. All right, folks, let's head back before I catch a cold out. Catch the cold here again. Where's the creek? I, I didn't see a creek. Did, did y'all see a creek? Oh, I hate this dude. Here's the storage room. If you need anything, tools, extra blankets, whatnot, it's all in here. If the power goes out, you can use this flashlight here on my right. Storms like these, you never know. Thank you. All right, folks. Let's head downstairs now. We've already explored the house. Well, I didn't want to go in the basement, but. Oh, close the door. Let me just make sure I get that flashlight. It look like a camera. Alright, folks. I see you already stocked up the fridge with some tasty food. I see the knob. Turn the knob for more controlling down the food bouquet. I tend to keep it low during the winter. The bill gets out of control. Speaking of winter, let me show you folks the water heater. I don't like this dude. What is this? What is his name? Rick. See, we're walking through doors. Rick. Um, I'm gonna worry about down here. Just a water heater and some old storage stuff. If it stops working, just hit the button at the bottom. Pilot light will fire right up, and you'll be back in business. Hey, sir, what's the deal with that room over there? I think you two need to concern yourselves with. I use this basement as storage. Runners don't need this space. They really ought to keep upstairs. Okay, well, I was just curious. Let's move on. No. Let me get in there. I was just turning off a light. I mentioned, well, no, I ought to keep it to my. I hate when people do that. The fella I bought this house from, well, told me his mother died down here. Some guys have reported hearing voices at night. Said they could hear something shuffling around down here. Yeah, I'd scare you folks if I were one of you. I wouldn't really step down here. <laughs> yeah, I'd, Rick. Look on your faces. Come on now. I'm just. I'm just joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. At this point, my creep meter was quietly pinging around six out of a ten. Mine is like a hundred out of ten. Alrighty, folks. So I'm starting to pick up. I'm gonna hit the road now. Gotta find that freaking cat. Thanks for showing us around. Let's let's follow him. By the way, what was the name on the booking? 
Must be getting old. I don't want to tell him. It's Sydney. Ha, ah, Sydney. That's right. Pretty name for a pretty girl. It's just mirror that. Yeah, very weird. Anyway, let's go see if there's anything good on TV. Actually, I'm gonna go take a quick shower. Will we find something? Oh, watch my head. I don't know if it feels like you're in a waterfall. Oh, where did he park? Rentacabin.com. We offer thousands of cabins readily available and accessible with the click of a button. Enjoy amazing. Dude is weird, bro. Like really weird. Place is dirty. La da dee, la da da, la da dum. La da dee, la da da, la da dum. If I had this, like, I'd be in the mall like these. <laughs> Nora. Kind of creeped out. Where you at, girl? Hey, Harp, check this out. Find this fishing rod in that shed. Plan to catch dinner? I just mentioned it. That'd be a pretty epic audition. Oh, audition? Addition to the trip. Let's do it. Yo. Follow me. There's another rod in the shed so we can both give it a shot. But I really like fishing. And we don't leave doors open here, Mike. Let's act like we've, we've lived in a civilization before. No footprints. We we'll grab the other fishing rod harp. It's gonna be second. Maiden, maiden fish pairing knowledge. Rose and bronze, maggot bait, cheese delight. Uh, where is it? Step a solid killer recipe for baked carp. We need to catch three carp. Wanna go for the challenge? Yes. First things first, we need the right bait for carp. Check out this bait information on the board. Maybe we're ready to grab a carp bait and let's head to the creek. We're going to catch some carp harp. Please. Yeah. Carp, 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 carp. What? Common carp. Uh, let's do, let's do, let's do sweet corn. Oh, the creek's right here. What about bucket? Hope the carp are biting today. Uh, back when I was younger, when I when I lived in Florida, I used to do a lot of fishing. I used to do a lot of fishing. Why is there a gold fish in here? Okay. But yeah, I used to do a lot of fishing, and I used to, I, I caught this one bass, man. Like I I swear it was about like this long. I think it was fat too. I think we ate it. I beg your pardon? So I think I read there was a goldfish in the creek. Easy. 
What up? Do you want to head back? Focus on dinner? Yeah, let's do it. You know how to gut fish? I guess we could bit bait too. Why, why did the music start changing? I don't like that. I don't like that. Let me, uh, I think I can't. Believe me. Did, did we leave the fridge open? Well, I'm cleaning the fish. While I'm cleaning the fish, do you mind prepping the marinade? Let's take a bowl and throw in the ginger paste, cooking oil, black pepper, salt, and Italian seasoning, paprika, uh, and yogurt. Where's the seasoning? Did we? All right, let's get some salt. All right. Italian seasoning. You said ginger garlic paste. Yup. Paprika, yup. Yogurt, yup. Salt. Pepper. Simple. Right? Me bomba. You mind throwing the fish and the marinade in the casserole while I chop the veggies on it? Carbs, marinade, veggies. For the fish. Probably should have did the veggies with the marinade. Plus mini fish for picking it up. Uh, red needs 30 minutes, 400. Cause you wanna do the veggies, you wanna, you know, marinate the veggies as well, so I can get a little bit more flavor. That didn't scare me. <laughs> oh, it tastes amazing. I wait for it. How about we play some board games? I saw something in the room next to the living room. Grab whatever catches your eye. Go ahead and see what you pick. <sighs> You're like tired, bro. Why is this open? Yo, um, Norris, and I hear you, bro. Watch out for Rick, too. Whispers in the dark. Play chess. Actually, no, I want to see what this is. Oh my gosh. So, why'd you ask me to pick? For the plot. Is that a Ouija board? I once told me how she contacted dead grandma through one of these boards. And saying her spirit go, oh, okay. Hey. Remember how the old dude. That's a terrible idea. I'm gonna do it though. What hell no? God hell no. Oh my gosh. I, I do it to myself at this point. I'm being watched, bro. Yes, yes, I'm scared already. Look at me like that. Watch out for spiders down here. Make this even spookier. What now, bro? Turn off all the lights. See if this thing really works. Oh my gosh. Like you. Anyways, do you know how this works, Harper? Yes, I do. All right, then you go first. I think we're supposed to. All 
Are there any spirits who want to talk to us? That wasn't me. Okay, I got one too. Go ahead. That was a life after treating your buddy. Hey, be respectful. No, for real. Oh, that is me moving it. What's your name? My turn. Come on, buddy, give us a sign. Let us know you're here. Just left me. He be flirting with Mike. That was weird. Well, yeah, the weird part is you ditched me. <laughs> what the heck, Harp? Figure you would move your. <laughs> would have been nice if you checked. Ever heard of fight or flight, Sydney? I'm sorry. Okay, man. All right. I got it. I got it. I gotta do everything around this mug. Can we lock that basement? Y'all see that ghost orb? That's before we If you haven't seen that video, you should you should watch that too. I'm gonna get back into it. That looks sure. That looks amazing. I'm not gonna lie. You sitting like that. <laughs> Oh, I was supposed to turn TV on. Yikes, my bad, my bad. With the spoonful of mayonnaise. This delicacy uh, I think, is I think very good, popular bro. in Romania, where mayonnaise flows down the rivers like a mayonnaise water park. So first, we are going to prepare the oh, asparagus. Uh, I was supposed to get Season it. these with a lot of salt. Letting these simmer in the salt bath. Usually I make my plate like I even make my plate for my friends, bro. But take a I guess Mike's not a real cocoa friend. beans. Ah, uh, yes, the cocoa beans need to be blended into the sauce with a little bit of vinegar. You gotta keep that fancy flavor in there. The next thing we prepare is the mayonnaise. We stir fry this in a pan with Irish tofu. I'm not gonna lie. This is gonna taste like shit. <laughs> but here you are anyway, listening to my cooking. This is, is this for Lizzie? <laughs> this is the bream of the mayonnaise. We, we gotta inject it with a little anesthesia to make sure it doesn't revolt against us. <laughs> it gets very angry once it knows we're trying weak. to cook it. After doing that, we mix all the ingredients oh, yeah, together I... in a tray and place it inside the oven. Okay, and while Twice that's as good as we caught the fish heart, ourselves. It was really good. Make a great team heart. Hey, anyways, so let me check my ramen. emails real quick. Let my laptop up there. Is extremely now we're hard. taking a break from work. It's not work. I was wondering how shit many times for my new DS. I, I remember the DS, man. Hey, that was some. That was some. What you will need is. I'll be right back. Gasoline and ramen. Gasoline. This really soothes yeah, I got a lot. I'm turning it off. I feel like somebody's gonna pop up in the, in the freaking window. Let 
me, so far, so good, other than... Heard that? There's someone under my bed right now. You come upstairs. Bam. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me, Mike. Mike. You're trying to scare me. I'm not finna fall for it. Play hide and seek. Oh, why did I decide to hide in the basement? Are we thinking with our like minds here? Didn't something just happen? I heard you'll be good at this since I never find you in the city. Maybe you need to look harder. All right, my turn to hide now. Close your eyes, start counting. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. like this bro I really 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 dislike this where's Nora I'm finna, I'm finna grab that flashlight. You suck, Mike. I think I heard, I think I heard someone upstairs.
No kidding, Sydney. I really heard something sliding up there. You didn't hear it? No, I did not. I swear on my life, I heard something. I see the attic access door in here. Like, I don't like you. What the f Why would you close the door on me? Like, you are weird, bro. You're weird. Couldn't reach without a step stool. Does that just happen? Type. Type. My bad, Mike. Still weird, though. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. Why am I up here by myself, Mike? I'm a go I'm, I'm, I can't do another jump stare. I just can't. What's up, bud? Your owner's looking for you, fam. How'd you get up here? You had to be placed up here because there's. Look at this. Look. There's no way. <laughs> I heard that was there for a minute. I think she was hungry. I wanted a car back. I'm fine. I got any tool shit in the backyard. There's gonna be some weird stuff going on, bro. Flashlight goes with me everywhere I go from now on. It's like he knows exactly where I am. Hey, Mike. What if we just like see somebody come kidnap him? That one dude that we didn't give a ride to. That would be insane. Hey, you got me. Don't tell me why I'll figure out you left the house. Anything worth doing is worth doing well. My turn. Close. Close of us. I'm getting tired. Look, I'll hide in the house. Where to back in anyway. Let me go to bed. I'm fine. Oh, I should have closed the door. Oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right now, here I come. For some reason, I just don't trust it. I'm definitely not gonna go look.
Yeah, I'm not gonna go look. You wouldn't be in here again. I'm not gonna go look. Rick, why are you back? I'm fixing the faucet. You got a problem with that? You should tell us, fam. Miss, this is my house. I don't need to check in with you every time I fix something. You do, though. I've never seen anyone fix a faucet with a hammer before. Yeah, me neither. You ever fixed many faucets yourself, so have you, young man? Didn't think so. I imagine you don't... I imagine you don't know what tools you need. I know you don't need a hammer. How long have you been here? Back a couple minutes ago. You heard anything before that? It must have been uh, that old lady, remember? Look, you need to go to bed now? Yeah, fix, that, fix it tomorrow. Yes, me, Lee. Yes. No, Rick, she's being polite. We're in this house and would like to have it to ourselves. I, we really don't want to have to call law enforcement. And no cops on Woodbury. Oh. <laughs> You're gonna arrest the homeowner for fixing the faucet? I was doing some work. Can't handle that. It's your problem, not mine. You know what? If folks don't like me fixing the faucet, I'll leave you to it. Yes, thank you. Ooh, man. I'm gonna see him out. I'm gonna see him out. Freaking hammer. A hammer, Mike. Hey, I hope you step out. Don't come back. I don't lie. I can't with this game. I can't. <clears throat> it's just like. Can't function. After locking the door, we debated what to do. We agreed there was something off about Rick from the start. Yeah. It seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over unannounced. And then we decided Rick was weird, but probably harmless. We attributed his behavior to an extreme lack of social awareness. Yeah, he lives in Woodbury. Look, we already drove all the way out here. Let's enjoy ourselves. Let's just enjoy ourselves, Mike said. But by this time, I was feeling really tired. I decided to get some rest. We're going here knocking on the door. Yep. Go meet my girl, Nora. Are you still awake? I sleep when someone's knocking on the door. No, for real. You mind if I come in? I like to talk about something. Sure. Oh, my bad. Mike, um, let me open that. Summer's starting to really get bad. I already see this truck in the driveway. Yeah, I hope Nora's okay. She'll be just fine, Sammy. Don't worry. I'm here to keep you safe. What? There's no problem at all. I was supposed to watch over people they care about, right? What are you talking about? What a day, huh? Um, this wasn't exactly how I thought I'd get where it was going to go, Sydney. I know, right? What a strange day. Don't don't turn around and look at me like that. Can't believe that guy. He just keeps wandering around the house like he runs the place. He does own the place. Yeah. <laughs> you know exactly what I meant, Sydney. We shouldn't just barge in the place whenever we want. We went to we went to the house true. I mean the guy's probably harmless. I'm just frustrated. Me too. I really need to sleep now. It'll help if we will get some sleep. I'm not. Well don't come sit by me, Sydney. Uh I think I'm good. Leave me already, Sydney. Mike, you're weird, buddy. I don't like Mike. I knew he was weird from the start. Harp, you know? I've missed this. Us just talking. It's been too long. You know? You don't have to sleep alone at night if you don't want to. My worst is coming from. Would you be doing this if Nora was here? 
Nora's not coming, is she? You killed her! I look like you don't remember our trip to Oregon. I remember it being pretty awkward. It didn't start out awkward though. Mike, we had lots of drink. Things happened. It sure did. I'm hoping maybe, hoping maybe that can happen again. Oh, Mike, I don't know what to say. I guess I've been meaning to talk to you about that. You just let me worry about the details, Sydney. Mike, I don't think this is a good time. I think I'm about 70 miles away from Woodbury, and my stinking tire just blew out. <clears throat> of course. It's snowing, and I'm on the side of the road on Highway 11 near Killington. There's a sign by the side of the road. It's hard to see. I, I think it says... I hate her voice. Kent Pond. The snow is like half a foot deep, and I can't get the lug nuts off the tire. Okay. <laughs> I hate to ask, but... Can you two come get me? All right, you seen that? Timing, huh? I guess we can't leave Nora stranded. Let me get dressed. I meet you downstairs. No, we can't. Maybe we better get ready. No, Sydney, you stay here and get some sleep. No sense in both of us freezing our butts off. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Remember, Jamie said I'm still dressed. You just tell uh, go help Nora. I want to go too. I always like doing nice things for you, Sydney. Mike, I'm going with you. We'll finish talking about this later, okay? Get some great rest and stay warm. Hmm. I'm going with you, bro. How bad is the storm? Hey, why don't you get some rest? You sure it's safe to drive? Don't worry, you're no worse. Besides, no one's probably freaking out more than you right now probably right look make sure you take care of yourself all right lock all the doors before I go how about a hug I mean just in case you're asleep when I get back I kind of need a hug right now yeah I should go get some sleep sweet dreams get some sleep Sydney I'm safe Mike I'm the truck you right there I low key probably would have went, me personally. Me personally. I told myself things would get better if I could just get some rest. Or always knew how to cheer me up and I needed it more by the minute. Her arriving soon outside to rest in the meantime. Oh my gosh, 12.39 a.m. Hey there, my friend. Please open the door. I'm freezing to death out here. I'm not opening the door. I'm not opening the door. Why do you, how do you know we're here? So I have, so I have to open the door? The dude threatened you, and you're gonna open the door? Look friend, I know that idea of banging on the door in the middle of the night. I'm in a bad spot here. I was kinda on a ride for some friends. But they are running behind. They won't be here for about two more hours. Well, the outside is getting pretty bad. I was hoping you'd be a friend. Let me come inside and warm up. Still, still my friends get here. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. Come on now, my friend. If you if you're caught in this blizzard, I'll give you one place to wait out. You're not coming in. End of story. 
Are you freaking kidding me? You're gonna let me freeze death out here? Yeah, I didn't make you go hiking in a snowstorm, buddy. I should have known you'd be a big Whoa! Here as you <laughs> were back at the pizza joint, huh? You think I didn't see you, your little boyfriend fishing at the creek earlier? I figured maybe you'd give me a chance this time. It looks like you're still unkind. Please just leave or I'll call the cops. No cops around here. Speaking of, I don't see your fella's truck out here either. I'm dialing 911 now. Fine. Suit yourself. You can leave now. But let me tell you something. You get what's coming for you for leaving me out here. Promise a woe, my friend. That's why I should have went. Man, the door seemed to be relevant compared to how tired I was. Where did he go? Your eyes open, I had to get some sleep. I probably would not be able to. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. This might have no choice but to call for help. Scared. I'm sorry to bother you, but can you come back over? There's someone we met driving out here who's banging on the door and starting to affect me. I'm pretty scared. I think I hear him moving around outside the house. Could you please come look since you live so close? up here. What's up, bud? Oh, did they want me to go investigate? <laughs> nah. I don't got no shotgun. I don't got nothing to arm myself. Anything I'm finna investigate. Rick. Maybe they all work together. Why how strange Rick had been seeing him was relief. The door misses me. Why you got that hammer still? What the heck is going on here? Thank God you're here, Rick. I'm so glad you came. You see one outside? Might see something. Might see something. Could have anyone or no one at all. Yeah, I came as quickly as I could. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. Um. Thank you. Oh, back up. Back up. I'm gonna juke him. I'm gonna juke him. <laughs> Rick, Rick. Rick, what did you do? By the way, where's your friend, the guy who was with you earlier? He should be back soon. Hmm. So you're all alone here right now, huh?
Rick, you're already weird, but... What did you do with my friends? Times like these bring out all kinds of folks. All of them know when to stay away. Rick, um... I feel like this. Is it? Who are you talking to? It's my friends. I'm gonna say, is that so? Yeah, thanks for coming by. I'll be fine now. You get back if you want. Sure about that? Yeah, that's overreacted. Maybe I should stick around. Is everything really okay? You leave right now. What'd you say? This is my freaking house. I will leave when I want to. What do you want? I want was mine, this house, and you. You're trespassing. You need to leave right now. I don't think so. If anyone is leaving this house, it would be one of us. Man, I would keep playing, but I got to get some sleep. Call time is 9.30. That is insane work. Hold the time, I'm thinking that's Rick. Dude is not Rick. And he didn't know what he was doing. He, a hammer for the sink. I should have went. I should have went with freaking Mike. Mike weird too. I cannot... I cannot. That is crazy work. But now y'all see episode two. So if you like this video and definitely want to see a part two, because I'm going to play it regardless, man. I love these games. I love these games. Uh, shout out to the developers again. But if you like this video and you want to see me finish the game completely, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share it with your people, put it on your dashboard, put it in your car lights, uh, put it in your backpack. You know, show down your face. I don't know. Put it on the TV screen. Put it in a the movie theater. Do what you got to do. Make sure you get me out there. All that will help me in the long run. But thanks for watching the video. Deep Breezy out.